Hey besties, and thank you so much for joining me in today's video. My name is Lindsay, and I love all things beauty so much. And I asked you guys yesterday, what do you want to see on the channel? And I had a feeling what you would choose. I felt like it was going to be between two things. And you chose one of the things, definitely the one that's going to take longer, but that is A-OK. -okay. Now it's actually, I think, like 11 at night. We might not get done till like 1 in the morning. That's totally fine though. Um, it's going to be way shorter for you, don't worry. But we're going to be doing my perfume collection. I have a good amount of perfumes. I recently got into perfumes about November of 2022, probably closer to February. So for about 8 months, I've just been... Picking up fragrances here and there, all these perfumes I bought with my own money, nothing here was sent to me. A few gifts, I will say, but like from people in my life, but nothing sent to me from brands. So I hope you guys enjoy. We have designer, we have niche, we have um, celebrity. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to drop me down below your scent of the day. My scent of the day is back here. It is my Delina La Rose and if you're interested in any of the makeup on my face, I will link that down below for you. I won't be able to link all of these perfumes, you guys, or this video will just never get up. We're just gonna jump in. Can you guess what house we're gonna start talking about first? I'll give you a little hint, just a little one. I absolutely adore this fragrance house. The second I put my nose on these perfumes, I knew eventually I would without a doubt invest in them because they are some of the most beautiful and well projecting fragrances I've smelled so far. I have been so impressed with the Parfums de Marly perfumes. This one specifically, Delina, of course, is what started it all. It definitely piqued my interest from social media. The second I smelled this in Dillard's and I brought it home in the travel or the sample, I knew I wanted the big bottle and Joma Shop had this huge sale going on. So I scooped up like five different bottles and I, I wanted to keep going after that, but I knew I needed to chill you guys. And this perfume just smells like the most beautiful pretty woman. It's giving pretty woman. Anytime I smell this, this is exactly what I think of. It's what I want to smell like. So I knew immediately I had to get the big bottle and I'm so happy that finally after all these months, I have it in my possession. It feels so good. Obviously the bottle is stunning, but we don't even really care about that. I mean, I, I do care about that. Obviously I have them in display, but I'm saying what really matters is what's inside. It's such a beautiful rose in here. I know a lot of people do not love the sour, um, punchy rhubarb, but for me, I love that in there. It kind of just makes the fragrance for me even better last so long. I believe all of these might have incense in them, which does help in that department. So except for maybe um, La Rose, which I thought might not last because of that, but it still does. So this is absolutely a beautiful perfume that I'm so happy to finally have in my collection. Get this if you want to smell stunning. That's like all I can say to you. Ooh, it is so pretty. Getting scary over here. Okay. Then we have Delina Exclusive, which for me, this one is kind of like the richer version. It's the sexier version. I like this one. I do prefer it. It's definitely more me, I will say, especially for like date nights and things like that. I just think this is such a sexy, sexy fragrance. I love it, but you're still getting that DNA for sure from Delina without a doubt in all of these flankers, which I love that they're, they're, they're their own perfume, but they also do really smell like Delina. So obviously that's what a flanker is supposed to be. But as we know, that's not always the case with flankers. Um, but this one is so lovely. I love the oud in here with the rose. It's just perfect. And it really adds to that sexiness. Oh, it's so good. I just feel like this perfume creates the most luxurious experience when Whenever I'm doing my makeup and my hair in my room, I always wear this robe in there that I did douse with this perfume. And I just get, again, the most luxe experience. So for me, this one is incredible. And even though La Rose is not my favorite of the three, I will say it's the one I've been gravitating towards 
the most. I'm actually wearing it currently. It is such a pretty fragrance as well. I feel like this one is just the fresher take. It is such an aromatic, pleasant experience. This one is anytime, any place. Though I will say I don't think I'm going to wear it in like the colder months because for some reason I just feel like this one is not going to do anything for me then. But now in the hot weather, this one is just so pretty. It's so good. And again, even though this one is the fresher sister, it is something that does still last pretty long on my skin, so keep that in mind as well. And then Casilli, I like to call this one my happy fragrance because this one to me is just very uplifting. It does have mimosa in here and also um, I believe red currant, some berries. It has plum and I just, I love that so much. It also has floral, so that Bulgarian rose and I think um, Petalia. Um, and base note, it has sandalwood, which you guys know, or maybe you don't, I absolutely adore sandalwood in my fragrances, and I think also tonka bean. There's just a lot of what I like going on in this one, so it kind of made sense to me that my nose kind of gravitated towards this one first. I just don't think it lasts as long as the others, unfortunately. So for me, that's why I put off or was going to put off getting this one. But then when I saw the sale, I was just like, adds to cart, but I'm so happy to have it. It is such a gorgeous summer scent. Absolutely perfect. And then for all of my gourmand girls, I love, love, love Oriana so much. This one, ugh, the times I've wore this, which I think is just twice or maybe two or three times now, compliments. It will fill up your vehicle. Anytime I've wore this and then went in the car, the whole car is gassed, so be careful, um, but this one is definitely a people pleaser for sure. And even though it's super gourmand, like, I don't know, I think this one, it's definitely, I don't want to say it's like top two. I feel like, hold on, these are my top three. <gasps> These are my top three picks for sure. Casilli, Delina Exclusive, oh this is not Delina Exclusive, but let's pretend, and Oriana. I feel like they're the most me out of all of them. I'm just being honest. So yeah, if you love gourmands, this one has orange blossom, it has whipped cream, um, marshmallow. It is just such a beautiful mouth-watering fragrance. Every time I open this up, yeah, my mouth literally salivates and it's just heavily complimented, you guys. Like, I'm telling you, when you wear this one, like, you will know it for yourself. Maybe just get, like, a sample from Dillard's and just see how it goes. Your man, your woman, your friends, whoever, the, whatever the case may be, will be all over you, complimenting you because you will just smell delicious. This one is great. Next house I want to talk about is Kea Lee. This one is Eden Juicy Apple 01. And for me, I wear this one anytime I want to, again, feel happy and free. Very carefree energy I get from this one. Just a girl that knows how to have a fun time. Anyone that wears this, I feel like you are just so just fun and just so like full of energy and full of life. That's really the vibe this one does give me anyway. I love it. I feel like I get more berries than anything. It's just such a juicy, fun fragrance that I think every girl or guy should have. It's beautiful. I don't get like super sexy vibes from this one. It's just really, like I said, really carefree. Now, if I want to feel sexy, I'm definitely pulling out Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli. This one to me is just really date night, girls night out. You want to make a statement. You want to be bold. You want to be noticed. This one is very that. It is very patchouli heavy, um, but it's a sweeter patchouli, so it's not going to be too off pudding, though I would not go and blind buy this. I did and it worked out for me, but it might not for you. I absolutely love it. There's oud in here. There's rum. I get that booziness as well. There's also leather, but I don't really pick up on that too, too much. This one has creme brulee. It has brown sugar and it also has that vanilla. So for me, 
Though it wasn't exactly what I was expecting, it is super gourmand. But I love that it's grounded by all that complexity. It just makes it such, again, a sexy standout fragrance in my collection that I absolutely can't get enough of. Then I have all of my little minis. Starting out with Vanilla 28. I love Vanilla 28. It's super sweet, but a little bit sexy. It has, well, a, a good bit sexy, honestly. It has um, brown sugar, vanilla extract. It is just perfect. And I believe amber. It's really good, you guys. I definitely suggest you smell it. Not even just to wear on its own, but to mix with other fragrances. I mix this with a lot, and you don't even have to get the big bottle. I have the mini and I've had it for a while now. If you do have a smaller collection, maybe then I would say get the bigger bottle if you end up really loving it because I feel like, I don't know why I haven't used this more. Maybe it's because I'm putting off getting the bigger bottle, um, but it's absolutely amazing. When you first do purchase it, it's definitely lighter than this and not as sweet as this, but it's fantastic. And while we're talking about sweets, I also have Kaylee's Deja Vu White Flower, and this one is the perfect mix of sweetness and white florals. This one does have, I believe, nectarine in it, so it's that fruity floral vibe that just, for me, it's not too sharp with the florals. It's a very, um, I would say, modern take on a floral fragrance. It's definitely not too sharp, which I do enjoy, and I think if you just want a really pretty girl fragrance, this one is perfect. And then Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper, I feel like this one might be the most polarizing because it does mix vanilla with rose and a lot of people do not like that combination. But for me personally, I feel like it works here. Now I did just smell a fragrance from Zara the other day and it mixed the two notes. I did not like it. I thought it smelled like PU, I'm not gonna lie. I try to be as respectful as I can be when it comes to fragrances because I know there's something for everybody and you know if that's your judge but I personally did not like it but this just smells very it smells similar to it but it's just done better it's a bit smoother and more likable to my nose personally but yeah for me I absolutely love this fragrance and I think it just smells very unique and a bit sexy to me too. For the skinny travels, we have Eden Juicy Apple, which you guys know, again, I am very fond of this one, and Yum Pistachio Gelato, which y'all, I crave this fragrance. The only reason I don't have a bigger dent in this one is because I'm trying to save it up for um, eventually when I do get the bigger bottle. This is insanely delicious. The longer I let it sit, the sweeter it gets, the more long-lasting it gets. It's so good. It's nutty. It's sweet. It has a bit of um, a freshness to it as well. Like, it's not too heavy, not too ooey-gooey sweet gourmand, but it's just perfect to me. I love this one. And I honestly just wear this one when I'm in the bed, cuddled up, Watching Netflix, it just makes me feel so comforted and just so cozy. It's that type of scent for sure and I cannot get enough of it. That's not to say I wouldn't wear it out and about because I definitely would, but I love to wear it. I love to smell it when I'm all cuddled up. Even to bed sometimes, it's just truly a beautiful fragrance for sure. Next up are my YSL perfumes, starting with my Libres. This one is the original, and you guys already know how I feel about this one. This one is money. It smells like you're rich, okay? It smells like you have good credit. I say it all the time. It smells like you got money in your pocket. It translates to free. I know that, and I can see why. It screams confidence. It exudes wealth once again. It's just a really beautiful fragrance. It's lavender, it's orange blossom. It's so beautiful, vanilla, but if you want more vanilla and you find the lavender in here to be too much for your liking, I would recommend you to smell YSL Libre Intense. This one is so dialed back on the vanilla, or sorry, on the lavender, and it definitely has more vanilla present. 
I could see why more people do like this one, but I just love how unique and different this one does smell. Some people say this one does kind of smell masculine, which I can understand why. This one, not at all. So if that bothers you in um, the original, I would say definitely get the intense. But for me personally, I feel like there's a time and place for both. And I kind of feel like this one is louder, even though this one is the intense, which you guys have already described to me, or sorry, explained to me that that just because it's intense doesn't mean it's more intense, which I get that, but I'm just saying, I'm letting you know, this one is stronger in my opinion and a bit more long lasting. For me, I do like black opium as well. This one is warm sweet and sexy. I do not really have a big dent in this one. There's just other date night fragrances I do tend to reach for more, but I do really like the scent of this one. I really do. Patchouli in here too. Yep. I like it. I do like it. I need to wear it more for sure. I'll try to this year. I'll try to Try to get more use out of it. YSL's Mon Paris is a perfect everyday fragrance. This one opens up with a beautiful strawberry note that to me is kind of fizzy or like sparkling. And there's also patchouli that I can definitely smell. But it's not off-putting. It's not bothersome. I really, really, really like this one. I think if you're a signature scent type of girl or guy, I think you might really love this one, especially for day to day. I feel like this one you could wear to a lot of different places. I feel like it's super versatile. You could wear it for work. You could wear it for a girl's night. You could wear it for a brunch, stuff like that. That's kind of where I would wear this one. It's almost on the verge of being one of my happy scents for sure because I have been wearing this one constantly and I literally just got it. Moving on to Giorgio Armani C. This one is one I do gravitate towards whenever I want to feel elegant and chic. This is definitely different to a lot of fragrances in my collection. I don't think I have anything that quite smells like this and I believe there's a note of cassis in here which I read on Fragrantica that sometimes can smell like cat piss which I don't get from this fragrance, but sometimes I don't want to smell like this. Like when I put it on, there are days where I regret it, but then there's also days I absolutely love the decision, so I'm not sure if it's the cassis. I know I love black currant, so it's definitely not that, but that can sometimes be off-putting. I feel like it is the cassis. From the same designer, we have Ocean de Joya, and I love Ocean so much. This one smells like, honestly, the most crisp sea breeze. It is so beautiful. It has a note of salt. That pear is so sparkly and beautiful. And honestly, anytime I wear this, I just feel like the most clean, put-together woman. That's really... All I can say about this one is if you're looking for a beautiful, aquatic, fresh fragrance, look no farther. This one is gorgeous and it lasts pretty long, especially when you do consider the price point. And it's just a great fragrance for the price point as well, especially if you can get it on a sale. I love this one. Then of course we have Aqua de Joya. This one gives me the same kind of effect. It's just not as aquatic and to be honest, this one isn't as fresh to me. It's more citrusy fresh for sure. And there's this mix of mint in there which is really cool as well. So for me, I love this one when I am um, doing errands or when I am working out. I feel like this one is great. Either one of these two works really well for if you are going to the gym or if you're doing like just everyday errands or chores around the house, whatever the case may be, and you just want to smell put together and clean. I love either one of these. Depending on what your vibe is, I think is going to depend on which one you prefer. I personally do prefer Ocean, but I still do love this one. Next up is Versace. I think this one is pronounced Crystal Noir. Noir? <laughs> Let me know, please. But this one is just very spicy coconut. It's definitely unique and mysterious. I wore this one last weekend and... It's just so good, you guys. 
For me, it's not one that gets me a ton of compliments, I'm gonna be honest. It's just one that I wear for myself, honestly. When again, I do want to smell kind of um, mysterious in the summertime. I feel like this one is just so, it's just so good. It does have a bit of sexy, for sure, but I don't know if I'd wear this one on a date night. Again, I think this one is just like more for me, if I'm being honest. Um, it's not heavily complimented, but I really do, I really like it. And it lasts a long time. Now this one is kind of funny. This one is Dylan Purple. And I wasn't even supposed to buy this one. I went in to Ulta for a completely different perfume. I was doing a series on my TikTok where I try, you know, my followers' um, favorite perfumes. And I was telling the lady that was helping me about that. And she was like, do you want to know my most complimented perfume? And I was like, yes. So she shows me this one and immediately I had to get it. I will say it is a toilette. So it's not going to be like the most strong, in your face, long lasting fragrance. But I just felt like for every day, this one is really pretty. Oh, I love it. It's very fruity floral. I get a lot of fruitiness from this one for sure. It just works really great for any time, any place. There's so many fragrances I love to have in my collection that have that type of vibe where you don't have to think too hard, like at all. So, so good. And I do kind of get like a shampoo-y vibe, like straight out the shower from this one as well. And I can see why this one is heavily complimented. I will say, and I'll show you guys this one now. God is a Woman has something similar. God is a Woman reminds me of this one just a little bit, but they're definitely different. Something in this one is a little bit sharper, I feel like. This is definitely um, a more smooth fragrance, and I, I love it. Um, but I just wanted to say they do have a similarity for sure that I did immediately notice. Y'all, as we get deeper into this video, I am quickly losing my voice so i hope it's not too raspy but let's go ahead and talk about the fragrance i just mentioned which is from dior this is hypnotic poison and i love this one a lot i have not wore it like out or even in honestly i just i mean i've sprayed it on you know what i'm saying but i'm saying like for a full day this one i get a lot of that almond Oh, a lot of that almond. You gotta like almond. You gotta like sweet scents. But there's also something really sexy about it. So for me, this one is going to be a date night scent for sure for when I am in the cooler months. I am so excited to rock this. I'm so excited to see how it does in the colder weather because everybody is always talking so highly about this one. Obviously, I can't talk about it too much because I haven't wore it yet. Um, but... It smells insanely good, insanely sweet and sexy, and I'm so excited to rock it in the colder months once again. I love the packaging too. And even though it's kind of like the shape of an apple, it not kind of, it is. I don't really get apple. I don't think that's in the notes, which I think is interesting. Dior from Dior. Oh my goodness. This is the um, Deu, I think you say. I love, love, love this one. It is so floral and clean and fresh. I wear this one to bed with no shame. You guys can judge me if you want to. Some of you, if you know, you know. If you don't, that's okay. This one is so beautiful. I love the honeysuckle in it because it gives it a good bit of sweetness even though there's a lot of floral going on and sometimes that can be way too short. Short? Oh my goodness, it's getting late, you guys. What time is it? <gasps> 3 10 in the morning. No wonder I'm starting to get delusional. Um, it's beautiful. I wear it to bed. I wear it obviously too, like every day, sometimes like day to day I mean, but I love wearing it to bed. It's clean. It's fresh. It's not bothersome. Some fragrances, you know, you can't wear to bed, but this one, absolutely phenomenal, beautiful quality. My Carolina Herrera Good Girls. I wear Good Girl Blush whenever I want to smell like the literal epitome of femininity. This one is so beautiful. It opens up so bright. The peony is so intense in here. It's beautiful. 
The citrus is gorgeous. You guys know that's my happy note. And then when it dries down, I do smell a lot of that tonka bean and um, vanilla, which I feel like does bring it back to the original, but just way lighter. It's a much lighter take, so I love it a lot. And then Very Good Girl, I feel like this one smells pretty similar to Delina Exclusive. Not 100% of course, but I do get that vibe, especially in the dry down. When I first sprayed this and I heard about that comparison, I was like, what? Because this just smells a little bit different when you first spray it. It's a little off-putting, but then once it does dry down, it does have a lot of similarity. So, if you want something similar and you're not trying to splurge, this is still not cheap, of course, but it's definitely cheaper. And it's still a beautiful quality perfume. It's stunning. Now, Valentina Donna Born in Roma. This one I wear if I'm fishing for compliments, honestly. This one gets so many compliments. It smells like a fruity, woody jasmine it's so beautiful and even though the notes in here um can be a bit intense i feel like they're not too sharp because of that cashmere and also that jasmine tea i love notes of tea and fragrances and i also love cashmere because it gives it that soft um, smooth texture which I just love so much so this fragrance for me I enjoy I find it to be not too mature but definitely more mature than say the coral fantasy the coral fantasy to me is more um it's not as complex it's a lot lighter it's more of a fruity citrusy musky scent for sure that does have that base of cedar. So for me, I love both. I just feel like you have to think about the fact that this one is much lighter. This one is obviously heavier. This one could be better for date nights or out with the girls once again. Very confident and sexy. And this one to me, I always tell you guys, just gives me very like friendly vibes. Like very friendly, very um upbeat and very bright and uplifting. It's very just like... The person you want to be friends with. That's what this one smells like to me. I always say that and I'm going to say it again because I just think it's so true to what it smells like. And then Donna Born in Roma Intense. This one has a lot of that bourbon vanilla. I do like this one. I just wish it had more of the notes we find in the original. And even though I do feel like there's a deep rich berry, it's not listed. It could just be in my mind, but I do feel like it's there. I don't know. I do like this one. It's definitely more mature than the original. So, and people already feel like that one's mature. So for me personally, this is not one I reach for all the time. But when I want to give like rich auntie vibes, I definitely do. You guys, I forgot about this one because it's been so long since I've been able to wear it. This Dolce & Gabbana, the only one fragrance, you definitely want to wear it in cooler weather. It does not work for me one bit in this Florida heat right now, but it's beautiful. It's very caramel and amber. It's a very sexy, sweet fragrance. I definitely love this one for date nights, for when I want to impress. I will say there's also coffee, and I don't really... I pick it up a little bit, but more than anything, the caramel is the star of the show. It's so good. So good for if you have a sweet tooth, but if you don't like gourmands, obviously stay far, far, far away from this one because it is, it is heavier. And Dolce & Gabbana, L'Imperatrice? L'Imperatrice? I'm saying it wrong. I know I'm saying it wrong. I'm looking at it. I'm squinting. I'm really thinking it through. L'imperatrice. Was that closer? Either way, super beautiful, very fruity, very fun. Uh, for hot summer days, this one is perfect. And I do recommend to get it off of Joma Shop because it's typically $89. I got it for about $30, so I truly recommend. Do not pay full price for this one. It smells amazing. I'm verifying to you. I got it from Joma Shop and it smells perfect. And it's just really fruity and fun. I don't know. It also has rhubarb. So if you don't like rhubarb, maybe smell it, of course, before you buy. But... I love the rhubarb in here. I like rhubarb. I know some people don't, but I really do. I think it just smells like the most beautiful 
watery fruits. It's just a beautiful concoction that I love, especially for this time of year. My Jimmy Choo, I Want You and I Want You Forever. Between the two of these, I feel like this one is definitely the more, um, for me, likable. This one is peaches and cream, and it just smells... Oh, it smells so good. This one gets so many compliments, and fun fact, I actually bought this one for my mom for Mother's Day. Smelled it on her and bought myself one because, you guys, it is just such a nice fragrance. It's nothing groundbreaking, I will let you know, but I still like it a lot. There's just like those basics that for me personally, they're, they're just a necessity. It's creamy, it's peachy, it's floral, it's beautiful. It's such a like my mom fragrance. She loves her florals, like her sweet florals, but I love it. Her fruity florals, it's just so good. And this one, Forever, I do like it. It's interesting with this one. I'm like spraying so many things. I need to chill out. This one does have a cherry note to it and also bitter almond. I'm really getting the bitter almond and for me personally as well. I also get, I believe, the oak moss, which gives it this like laundry-esque vibe. Not like dryer sheet, but like, yeah, like a laundry vibe. So... It's interesting. It's a little bit more um, unisex for sure. I just wish the cherry did stick around. I'm also very excited to wear this one in cooler weather. I think it's just gonna smell so good. I just got this one like a week ago, so I don't have all of my thoughts and opinions so far, but what I can say is, again, it's like a sweet, but like, I don't even want to say, yeah, like a sweet, fresh, fragrance but just know the fresh is it like an aquatic fresh it's like a laundry fresh which I do like it's just not what I was expecting when I saw all the notes yeah I think this one also might have vetiver I just did a video on both of my Killian Princess fragrances this one is just my favorite year-round gourmand I wear this one again anytime any place. It can be date night. It can be day. It can be anything, honestly. It's such a gorgeous blend. I called it a masterpiece the other day, and I was like, maybe that was dramatic, but no, I truly love this one, and it's so unique to my collection. It's marshmallow. It's green tea, ginger, citrus. I love the citrus in here. And then they went ahead and they gave us this fresh version, which is so much more citrus with the marshmallow in the background. And it just smells so amazing. I just wish I could get it to last on my skin a little bit better, but it smells amazing. It's going to work great in the summer heat. I cannot wait to keep messing with it and trying to get it to be a little bit stronger. But so far, I mean, I can tell you the scent itself is unreal. It's beautiful. And obviously, I don't expect for it to be, you know, screaming at me. I don't need it to be super, super loud when it comes to the projection. I just want to be able to smell it as I'm doing my day to day and get those whiffs, you know? Eilish is a great fragrance for whenever you want something warm and spicy, which I tend to in the fall and winter, but not so much like right now. So she's on the back burner, but she's, she's cute. She's sitting there and she's sitting pretty on it. Now, Eilish number two is a perfume that sits on the back burner and just, she just stays there. She never has her moment. Um... It's like, I like to appreciate this fragrance, but honestly, I need to decant it and sell the decants because I'm never, I'm never going to wear this fragrance. It's, it's very piney to me and it's, it's very like, when I wear it, I get headaches. It's very headache inducing. So for me personally, the Palo Santo is a note I love to smell, I think in candles, but not so much in perfumes. It just didn't work out and that's okay, but at least I can like, appreciate it and look at this freaking bottle so sexy quickly showing my ariana grande mod vanilla and mod blush because i don't love the packaging of these but i love the vanilla it's like a vanilla bean 
I would say. Really pretty, really fresh. Sorry, not really fresh. Really light. So it's a vanilla you could wear in the winter or right now, which I love because I love vanilla so much. And then this one is like a really sweet and fruity, but also floral spring and summer scent. This one is Mod Blush, and when I first tried Mod Blush, I just loved vanilla so much, I just didn't even give it the time of day. But now I absolutely love Blush Cloud. I don't need to say anything about this one. You guys, you already know, it's great. I love the sweetness in it for sure. I feel like it's definitely what um, separates it from Baccarat Rouge, which everyone thinks this is a dupe, and I can kind of understand why, but this one's definitely sweeter, which I actually really appreciate, and I think it's amazing, especially for the price. Onto my solo perfumes. So the perfumes, I only have one of each brand or house. This one is Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, and this one smells like a luxurious vacation. This one smells so incredible. It's not just one of those sun tanny perfumes where you'd only want to wear it on the beach. I want to wear this one on a cruise. I want to wear it on a yacht. I want to wear this one to dinner. I want to wear this one on date night. Uh, but the date night has to be like on a resort or something like that, you know? It's really good. The coconut in here is so creamy. Ah, oh, it's just such a beautiful fragrance. I absolutely adore it. And it just smells luxurious compared to the perfumes I have that have a similar scent profile. Like this one is Juliet Has a Gun Less for Sun and this one is way more intense with the white florals and it's definitely um, dialed back with the coconut for sure. Which I wish we got a little bit more of if I'm being honest. You have to like white florals and broxen. And of course coconut if you were to like this fragrance, but I want to emphasize it's very heavy on the white florals until it dries down. And then instead of smelling like you're on the beach tanning, um, drinking, having a great time, um, it kind of smells like when the pool day or the beach day, excuse me, has settled. And then now, you know, you're watching the sunset or something like that. It's like that kind of vibe. Definitely becomes more of a personal scent, but I don't mind that at all. And I feel like for when it does project, it's such a beautiful scent bubble that I really love, especially for this time of year. I need to use this one more. Rossier is a perfume that I really do like. I agree it does smell like your skin, but better. Maybe a little spicier. But for me personally, it's not what I was expecting. I did hear, I think they reformulated, so maybe that's what's going on. But I will say, it's good. I don't know if I'll repurchase it once I do run out though. It is super affordable, but for me personally, this fragrance is just not me. It's just not me. I like freshy fragrances that have like an aquatic feel or um, like a citrusy like my aqua and my ocean, I really love those fragrances for when I want to feel clean and just great for every day, don't have to think too hard. This one is just not necessarily me. And on the days when I try to wear this one, I feel like I always have to put something else on because it's just not enough. But I will say if you are into like the clean girl aesthetic and you don't really want like too much going on with your scent, this one is your skin but better, I will say. I just don't know if it's going to be a repurchase for me. I don't know. Another scent that I like it but it's not my favorite. This one is Lancome um, Idol Aura. And it's like, sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't like it, and I find it to be kind of synthetic. It's supposed to be like a sweet, salty perfume. But for me, sometimes it comes across just not smelling that good. I don't know. Maybe it's because I haven't wore it in like really, really hot weather yet. So I will try that. But for me personally, there is something that I just don't love about the fragrance. I feel like I'm on like a roll of fragrances that either I don't like or I don't love, 
But next up is Mongerlan. I do like this one from Guerlain. It's just that when I first tried it, like when I first sniffed it without even knowing what the notes were, the first thing I guessed was in here, because I like to do that, was licorice. And the licorice note is intense. For my nose, it's like the only, not the only thing, but the main thing my nose smells and the first day I put it on and I smelled that, it kind of made my tummy hurt, I'm not gonna lie. But after letting it settle, I do really like it. I think it's a gorgeous, mysterious scent. So that's kind of when I like to wear this fragrance. And I can definitely see why Angelona, uh, Angelona, Angelina Jolie would be the um, face of this perfume because it is very her, very sexy. And elegant and mysterious for sure so I like it at first I didn't love it I'm being honest but it did grow on me just a little bit a lot of it I feel like Prada Paradox is such a gorgeous warm fruity scent like the fruits smell so good in here oh it's so good I I might like this one more than I don't know. I feel like they're kind of tied. Donna Born in Roma and this one, it's so... Oh, it's so good though, you guys. Oh my god. I can't get enough of this one. I feel like this one is perfect for date night. Perfect for, again, hanging out with your friends, having fun, getting lit, doing whatever you guys do. I think this one is just such a beautiful fragrance and I think it will get you a good amount of compliments. This one is Dolce by Rosie Jane. This is a pretty fragrance for sure, but I do feel like this one, to me anyways, is really light. And it's not super, it's not like a heavy gourmand to me personally. It has chocolate in there, which I pick up slightly. And I believe musk. It's a really, really beautiful vanilla scent. Really great, really beautiful comfort scent as well. And I love that you can wear it year round because it's not too ooey gooey sweet. Helian Goddess by Mugler is one of the most gorgeous summer scents. It's perfect. I don't love the intense version, but this version I think is just so beautiful with the coconut. I feel like if you like coconut, you definitely should check this fragrance out along with jasmine. Such a beautiful blend. Another perfume I wear when I want to feel clean and fresh is Jo Malone's Sakura Cherry Blossom Cologne. This one, it is... So unfortunately, I ran out of storage on my SD card and I can't find the other one. So I'm going to have to record on my iPhone. I hope you guys don't mind. Next up is... Mesa Mataha is my current favorite gourmand. If you want to smell like a burnt sugar, mapley waffle cone, definitely try this one out. It smells so good, you guys. I wish you could smell it through the phone. It's incredible. Skylar's Boardwalk Delight is one of those fragrances I also wear for comfort. It is a gorgeous cotton candy fragrance that has notes of um, coconut milk, it has watery notes to give it that aquatic feel. It honestly also has like a dryer sheet type of vibe that gives it a freshness and also makes it super addicting, especially for bedtime and just wearing it in the house. I love the vanilla. It's just a beautiful blend that I honestly can't get enough of. I mean, I literally think I got it last month and look at the den already. Pretty sure this one, Sexual Sugar, I got... I don't even know what the house is or who the brand's name is. If you do, leave it in the comments down below. Um, but Sexual Sugar, this one is just very, very sweet. Very sweet, very sugary, very sweet tooth. I do like it. Um, but, I ha like again, I have to be in the mood for something super sugary and super sweet. I also love Chance Eau Tendre. I feel like this one is pretty unique with the grapefruit and the quince. You just have to really like um, those type of fruits because for me personally, like they're not my favorite, but I do really like this fragrance. So that's kind of, that's kind of interesting. I do really like it. I feel like it's a fragrance you could wear 
anywhere. It's going to work anytime, any place. You could dress it up, dress it down. I kind of like that about it a lot, actually. Flower Balm Ruby Orchid. This one from Victor and Rolf is so addictive. The vanilla in here is just so tasty and it definitely will leave you wanting more for sure. When I first sprayed this on myself and left the store, immediately I knew I had to have this one, which was funny because I actually wanted um, just the original Flower Balm. But um, this one just had a little bit more to it. I will say when you first do spray it though, if you get thrown off, it's just because this one actually has um, the vine of the peach as a note. So there is some greenness for sure. But when it dries down, you do definitely get more of that syrupy vanilla. And again, it's just so addictive. Then we have Jusé Parfums Accident à la Vanille. This one is the creme de la berry, and this one, if you want to smell like a strawberry dessert, I seriously recommend this one. This is another one I definitely do wear at night when I want to be cozy and when I want to cuddle up. It's just so, so tasty. And then Burberry Her, whenever I do want to smell like a strawberry milkshake, but like a sexy, more mature version of a strawberry milkshake, this one is just so perfect. And the longer it sits, the more powdery I do feel like it's getting. It's definitely more sexy and more long lasting than the original because I've definitely sprayed that one in store on myself and kind of just let it sit. And it didn't really linger the way that this one did. I feel like this one just has base notes that do keep it a little bit grounded and give it a little bit of maturity for what it is. These are the rest of my travels. We have Skylar's Peach Fields, which is really nice. Then we have Ellis Brooklyn Florist. I feel like this would be perfect for like a bride. Um, it's just a very beautiful modern floral. It doesn't smell too sharp or, or too mature. I just really love it. And every time I wear this one, I feel so pretty. Commodity Milk Expressive is definitely leaking, but this one is a great fall and winter fragrance. I love to wear it whenever I am hanging out with my family and i get compliments on this one a lot actually i think i already showed you my god is a woman and then this one is daisy love from mark jacobs and if i can find this one on a discount on joma shop or whatever discounter i'm gonna get the big bottle because this one to me it's not complex it's not you know anything special it just smells like a really pretty 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 girl that's it so that was my fragrance collection. Here also are my little travels from Dillard's, from um, Skylar, Lucky Scent, from a lot of different places. almost forgot to show you guys this little drawer as well that just has a few other fragrances. Actually looks kind of insane, so I can't imagine someone that has like hundreds of perfumes because this already looks crazy. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the good things. And I will see you in the next one, besties. Bye. Ooh.